love my Wi-Fi. It's great. Just gotta see. Oh, it looks like it's working. <laughs> Even though my Wi-Fi isn't necessarily. There we go. Okay. Okay, so, because the stream <laughs> fucked up real hard last time, um, still working on the video for that, uh, we are going to do the last two levels of Sonic CD, which I played up to in less than an hour. So, that'll be how that goes. And then after that, we'll have plenty of time, probably. So, I was thinking maybe, um show off a little bit of Sonic CD's, like, bonus features, and Sega. then, uh, see where we go from there with either Sonic 3 or replaying the first half of Sonic 2. Just gotta make sure that this game is gonna display this one. Last time it was not. I, I really tried my best. I even had the trick to, uh, to like reset them constantly, and it just nothing I tried let me clear them. So I don't know. I doubt that I'll. Uh, I doubt that I'll get much more progress in them. Yeah, bad future time. Time for like the good song. The aesthetic of this zone in particular is like bad future is my favorite in the entire game. Back to the sad music because it's not as good. Hey. 
Oh. Sonic CD has bottomless pits? Since when? I think that's actually the first one I've encountered in the entire game. Amazing. Take a look at the stream real quick. Is everything going all right? Yeah. Everything looks fine. Now, this is where we hit the problem last time. The moment I tapped out, the game was just uh, not having it. Yep. All right. It's happening again. Ugh. God, how close are we to the goal? Are we like right there? Let me see. Uh, 
last thing I want to do is just lose another entire level. Yeah, we were right there. The goal was right there. I'll just reboot it after this. best boss fight in early Sonic, honestly. right there. Just all-time favorites. Okay, now on to the final zone. be here any longer than I absolutely have to be. Oh yeah, now that I actually have a viewer, I can uh, 
I can talk about what I experienced tonight. It was... Oh my. I went and saw the Sonic movie. And, uh... It was certainly a movie, and Sonic was there. I wish I could say better stuff. It, uh, jumped on the baby trend. It had, like... Just... So much dancing. Oh, okay. Wasn't quite aware I could jump that high, but sure. Sonic did the floss twice in the movie. Twice! Let's take this route, because it's probably better. Oh, and then there's just this scene. It's like two minutes of uninterrupted Eggman dancing by himself. And I don't understand the purpose of that scene. This way... Fast. 
Okay, oh, this thing. So it drops in these platforms and tries to crush you. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to cheese it. Uh, I believe you can do it starting here. Yeah, you can just jump out from the third one. It doesn't even try to stop you. Okay, final level pass. Metallic Madness 3, man. So, whenever you boot a completed save file, it just, like, it just starts you from here. So, I played through this level, like, 40 times as a kid, because I didn't want to start a new save, because then I lose the two time stones I had managed to get. I didn't realize I had to, like, restart the whole game to get more, so I just played this whole level over and over again. Which you'd think that would mean I'm like good at it now. I'm good at it now, but there's no such thing as being good at Metallic Madness 3. It's like R and G hell. You just have to really hope that the cycles line up and you can get through there. And if they don't, well uh top <laughs> This level is, like, really hard in comparison to the rest of the game. Huh. Okay. I love it when you're just not on a platform long enough to be able to jump, so it feels like you should, but it just gives up on you. Okay. I need to have at least one ring for the final boss. Um, that's basically all I need. Okay. Oh, come on. Hate this level so much. Oh, thank God. Okay, now we should be good. So this thing actually flips us into the background. It's a really cool mechanic, but like nowhere in the game uses it. Okay, now we have just like a mini enemy chamber here. Just for the boss for it. Okay, final boss. So, uh, he's got four fan blades. Segman needs to cool down or something. Anyways, um, you're basically gonna hit, hit, hit once or twice with this boss. Um, he intentionally makes it like pretty difficult to hit him without getting hit. Each time you hit him, he gets rid of a fan blade. 
Why, thank you, Funk Monker. Funk Monker? I don't know how to say that. Anyways, yeah, thank you. I've played through this game like three times in less than a week. Honestly, I don't mind though. This is like my favorite of all the classics, Sonic. If you get all the time stones, uh, Little Planet is able to, like, leave or whatever. Anyways, for the first thing I wanted to show, we can, uh, switch to the down one. Yeah. Uh, we can just switch to the U.S. soundtrack and use that for a little bit. And then I also wanted to show that this game has a Tails mode that you can unlock once you finish it. Uh, this is exclusive to the, uh, re-release of this game. And there's actually re-releases, I believe it's Sonic 1 and 2, that include, like, optional characters and quality of life updates and stuff. Uh, and those are 
Android and iOS only, for whatever reason. Anyways, I'm just gonna show the first, like, the first three acts is this one. Because I wanted to show how absolutely beyond terrifying the English boss music is. Um, oh, there we go. Anyways, yeah, the English soundtrack's like, all right. I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the Japanese one. Um, but I mean, it's enjoyable. Yeah, Tails kind of breaks this game. The game isn't really designed for him, so it's understandable, but... I'm willing to bet he does similar things to Sonic 1. I was gonna say and 2, and then I remembered that he's in 2. Invincibility noise. the boss stage. Now, like, the Japanese boss music is really weird and, like, you know, not... It's not exactly great boss music, I'll give it that, but, I mean, it's alright. The English boss music, however... <laughs> special. Okay, so now we have a choice. Do we move on to Sonic CD? Or, or not Sonic CD. Do we move on to Sonic 3, or do we go back and we recapture that first half of Sonic 2 that uh, went missing? Because, unfortunately, we don't have the backup stream for Sonic 2 anymore. Here, the stream will go dark for a second. I guess no matter what, I'll have to uh, launch the Genesis collection. Give me a second. We can get rid of that one. There we go. So yeah, the choice is up to you. Do we move on to Sonic 3 or 
do we go to uh, recapture that last little that first half of uh, Sonic 2 I'll only do the first half because we have the second half we have up till the hilltop boss um, I don't know I feel like I'd want to give Sonic 2 just like it's it's whole own stream where I actually play it from beginning to end but I mean we'll we'll see how it goes I'm sorry is it capturing my desktop instead of the game See, we have. I'm gonna go ahead and re. Uh, stop. Re favorite Sonic 2 so that I know that we still need to stream it again. You don't know? Okay. Um, I guess I'll do Sonic 3. Just so we can show some more new content tonight. And then after. Or Sonic 2, let's get it done? Okay. Yeah, sure. After we finish uh, Sonic 3, it's kind of the Wild West of what we could do next. I want to kind of get the whole classic era done and, like, put away before we head into the modern stuff. Although I might do Sonic 4 after Sonic 3. Who knows? Okay, so we're just going to go up through Hilltop Zone, so I'm going to try my best to make it kind of quick. Oh, I just realized I should probably, um edit the stream details real quick. Uh, let's do Sonic 2 and there we go. Okay. God, going from CD to this, that feels weird. <laughs> Like, this game, honestly, it looks and feels so much worse. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what you get, though, when you go from a remake of a game that was on superior hardware to uh, just a straight ROM of Sonic 2. <laughs> I might stick to release order, honestly. I don't know. Getting through the whole Sonic series is going to be weird because, like, I don't know. These games came out in a really odd order. You've had so much cheese. I'm sorry, Jay. Maybe you should stop eating some cheese? Maybe? You know, like, put the cheese away and just uh, chill for a moment? Oh boy, boss fight time. One. Oh, almost got hit with this thing. Two. Can't I bought so much exclusive cheese? Alright, that's fair. Oh, wow. 
How embarrassing. I actually took damage to it in exchange for killing it way faster. But yeah, just a friendly reminder, if you ever want to play like a superior version of Sonic 1 and 2, it exists. It's on Android, uh, so you can just play it on your phone. And it's actually like way more fun than the original. And this is coming from someone who, like, loves Sonic 1. Not so much 2. And 2 just has so many weird little, like, fuck-ups in it. Uh, for example, this level. Its music is great, its aesthetic is great. Water, not so much. Oh. Oh yeah, and of course, a number of instant death pits is far too high for a level design like this. I think Chemical Plant Zone would have been really fitting for like a late game level, but the fact that it's the second level in the game stopped Kid Me from ever experiencing the rest of this. Which we'll find out when we hit Sonic 3. That's actually a theme. Like a really common trend in the series. Up, even though we won't be playing through to the end of this game. Nope. Alright. I keep forgetting, but Jay, I had some of your jelly. I, I had quite a bit of it, actually. It's very good. the death pits I was talking about because they do exist in this level they're actually really common in this game. Like, look at that. It's so good. You 
ignore the boss, he's nothing. But, look at that background. It's got like animated water in it and everything, and for the time period, man, that's like really impressive. Okay, Aquatic Ruin Zone. We're like halfway through the levels that we're gonna do tonight. <laughs> Sonic is that, you know, a lot of games have, like, you know, lores to explain, like, oh, this is a ruin, man, whose is it? Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> There's, like, multiple levels like this, like, you know, Aquatic Ruin and Marble Zone, Labyrinth Zone, but it's like, okay, but whose were these? Who built this? Why? My theory is that it all just dates back to ancient times or something, I think. I'm gonna have to stream Knuckles Chaotix at some point. Like, all the way through. What a theory, clap, clap. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have any idea. Like, the series never goes into it. Ever. Uh, uh, uh. boss now. Oh, it's this one. So, you can cheese this boss. You can just jump on this, and then you can just wait for him to get over here, and you can jump on him. It's like a really cheap, free first hit, and I love it. Unfortunately, it kind of forces you down afterwards, so I think they saw it coming. Oh boy, Casino Night. Uh, next up should be Hilltop, I think. God, I'm gonna hope I'm right.
after Sonic 3, the next big one we're gonna end up doing is, uh, we're gonna stream as much of the Game Gear games as I can tolerate. Uh, we'll see how that goes. There's some really good ones, there's some really bad ones. So, and the plus side is I already have, like, a, a folder of just all the ROMs and an emulator that works that I've, I've already tested. Don't know how that worked, but I'm glad it did. literal pinball. Honest to god, I don't like casino levels in Sonic games. I think they're kind of bad. Specifically, I don't like this one, the one from Sonic 4, and the one from uh, Lost World. Okay. Like, I don't know, the physics in some of these just feel so bad. Like that? Ugh. top of that, like, the whole level is just, like, a time distraction that you're fighting against to be able to leave. And, like, the physics just, oh my god, they never feel like they work right. Ah! Um. Ah! not doing that. Okay. I can't believe 
completely didn't hit, like, a single checkpoint. There we go. Corrected the mistake. I say as Tails dies. last zone that we're doing. That's good. I think we'll just fight the boss on Hilltop. We'll call it good. I guess that's all of Sonic 2 shown properly this time, you know, without me losing the stream. And then we'll just go on to Sonic 3, since we'll have an hour. At least. And we can get through quite a lot of Sonic 3 in that time. See, I much prefer doing this over, um, doing Final Fantasy, honest to god. Because, like, Final Fantasy, it took us, like, weeks to get through a single game that no one's even enjoying. Meanwhile, like, I don't like Sonic 2 that much, but it's still more interesting to watch than a Final Fantasy game, for the most part. And I know more about it, so I can speak more about, like, what's happening and, like, development stuff about the game and just random little, like, things that I know. Oh, I, that is not the... Oh! Don't know how that works, but sure. Tail saving the day. But yeah, and then also, even if the game's not that interesting, like, it's over in, a, like, a night or two, you know? Like, we don't end up spending weeks on just the same thing. Unless, of course, I, I'm an idiot and I forget to archive the stream. Then we spend a couple weeks on the same game. Ooh. Lava who? The only obstacle I see here is a shaky screen. Ah, stop. This is not Sonic CD. playing past this boss. Oh yeah. Oh no. Hey, we did it. All right. Yeah, that's every stage of Sonic 2 streamed. <laughs> and hopefully archived soon. As much as I love the music for this stage, uh, 
Unfortunately, we do not have time. Although, I'll probably continue the save file just on my own. Just, just to see if I can uh, improve my opinion on the rest of the game. Alright, moving on. No, no audio settings. Thanks. Moving on, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Okay, this is where, like, the series actually gets good. Like, for real this time. Like, CD was really good, but man, Sonic 3... 10 out of 10. See? Already did all of it. <laughs> um, we'll just start here. So, it gives you actually a lot of choices. You gotta play as Sonic and Tails, Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles. And Knuckles has his own story that we might go into. Um, but I'm just gonna do Sonic and Tails. Oh. Oh, it just made me leave. Got it. Okay. So it picks up basically right where Sonic 2 left off. I love this opening so much. It just immediately establishes Knuckles as just a massive jackass. Okay, first zone, Angel Island zone. And as you might be able to tell, Sonic actually has a completely new look in this game. Uh, they redid a sprite, and it, in my opinion, looks absolutely wonderful. I love this game. And then already we have the new way to enter special stages, which are finding these giant rings around, going into them. And they are blue sphere stages this time. Uh, if you touch a red sphere, you lose, basically. You have to touch all blue spheres, make them red. Surrounding blue spheres in red spheres makes them turn into rings. Getting all of the possible rings in a level gets you a perfect. And then as you go, of course, uh, things speed up. We'll be using the emulator tools to get through all of these, because the later ones get really, really hard. And I don't feel like, you know, uh, spending all year trying to get into them. We just gotta continue. There we go. And then it just gives us the Chaos Emerald at the end, which now just sort of look like blocks. They are odd looking. The actual, like, diamond shape for the uh, Chaos Emerald doesn't come around until, like, I believe it's uh, Sonic 3D Blast that first had it, I believe. Um, and then Sonic Adventure used the 3D Blast design because it fit into the character's hands easier. And you could model it a little bit easier than just these weird block shapes that 3 had. Alright, I gotta remember where a lot of these are, because we have to do seven of them by the end of the game. And I want to get them done as soon as possible. Alright, first boss. Or mini boss. That's what Sonic 3's like major addition was. It added these mini bosses to every level. And the mini bosses are actually really cool. Although that is not our only encounter with that one. I was right. Yeah, 
these special stages are really technically impressive for the Genesis, and I appreciate what they did. Um, honest to god, this is probably my, like, second favorite of the classic Sonic special stages, with my favorite being, uh, the UFO in CD. Hitting those little uh, white blocks will actually bounce you backwards and they turn you around, basically. Ah. Uh... Yeah, like that. Ugh. Okay, we didn't get a perfect. Oh well. We don't need them. As long as we get the Chaos Emeralds, we're good. And that's two of seven. I should mention, this game is also home to a super form that appears literally nowhere else in the entire series. Nowhere. And, uh... It's just kind of, like, its existence is an overall nightmare for the series. Uh, that, it's called the Hypersonic Form, and it, he flashes, like, a bunch of, like, rainbowy colors. Um. And, back in the day, it gave a bunch of children seizures, so it's banned alongside Porygon. Shout out to the music for Angel Hill Zone, that's really good. Or Angel Island Zone, not Hill. This is an elemental shield. Uh, it lets us, it prevents, prevents us from all fire damage. And, so I can stand under him and hit him. Um, and it lets us do a little, like, dash attack. This is the bubble one, it lets you bounce and breathe underwater. There's also an electric one that attracts rings to you. Onward. So all the stages in Sonic 3 actually just kind of like flow together really nicely. Ooh, another special stage. Awesome. I will try to do these as legitimately as possible, although no promises because the later ones get really hard. Alright, so other cool facts about this game. Um, so, Sonic 3 was actually released in two halves. Uh, the first half, called Sonic 3, is the first six stages, or so. 
six or so stages. Uh, and features... Oh god, okay, it's getting fast. I will scuff this over Angel Island Zone. So, the first stages are, uh, the first, like, I think it's six or so, from Angel Island to Launch Base Zone, which we'll get to, um, are the original Sonic 3 cart, and then they added a Sonic and Knuckles add-on, which I believe was the first one to add Knuckles as a playable character, um, and then added the second half of the game, it added the, uh, Hyper Emeralds, or whatever they're called, um, Oh, wait, we're going backwards. Let's fix that. Um, it added the, like, the second set of emeralds that let you turn into hypersonic, um, before he was banned forever. And then it also added, uh, a special final boss that can only be uh, gotten to by going through both halves of the game, getting all seven chaos emeralds, and, uh, just finishing the final bosses at that point. Um, on top of all this really cool stuff, uh, it added special features when locked into other Genesis games. So you could put Sonic 2 into the Sonic and Knuckles card and play through Sonic 2 as Knuckles, which I think is just really cool. And then, uh, so you could lock it into the Sonic 1 card and it'd give you like an error screen. Uh, but if you hit A, B, and C on the controller all at the same time, um, then it gives you a special game mode in which you can just play randomly generated, um, I guess not randomly generated, they're generated based off of the scene, but, uh, generated Blue Sphere stages, like the special stage, and you can just play those however you want for as long as you want. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I really liked Blue Sphere. It's not like the best feature on the planet, but it's still really cool. Ooh, so this is a bonus stage. Not a special stage, a bonus stage. Um, oh, thank god. There's like several different- Oh! There's several different kinds of these. And honestly, they're all really cool. Alright. Oh! It's time! So, this is a kind of neat set piece. When you're playing alone. But when you're playing with Tails, it's unintentionally hilarious because he just- he can't deal with this. Like, at all. It's unfortunate. Alright, now we're on to the first boss. Shout out to the really good boss theme in this game, I'll just let it play for a little bit. Okay, and now that descends. Now Nipples the Enchilada sends us to our doom to go to the second level of the game, Hydro City Zone. 
As a child, I don't think I ever finished this level. Honestly. Like... So, uh, I didn't... To make a long story short, I didn't actually own this game myself. Um... I owned it... Or, I played it a lot in the, the daycare I was in. Because they had a copy for PC. Which I find is... Oddly enough, the case for a lot of, uh, Sega games on PC, Daycares just really liked to buy them. I don't know what was up with that. It was never a Sonic CD. It was always Sonic R and then, um... Oh, Tails is drowning. Whatever. It'll be fine. Um, anyways. Yeah, it was, uh... It was always, like, Sonic R and Sonic 3D Blast. It was never, like, the good one. But they always had this one. So I I loved playing this one a lot, like, the first level. Um... Oh. Oh. Honestly, I don't know how that bonus level works. Never have. I know I could, like, look it up, but eh. Anyways, um, they always had, like, this game, and I played it, like, constantly, but I never, ever finished Hydro City Zone. Ever. Oh, come on, I need that. Nope. There we go. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I never actually finished that, like, this level, or the zone entirely, um... Where to you? I'm like 90% certain I am really close to, uh... No? Okay. I know for a fact I am close to one of the, uh... Um... I was gonna say one of the special stage rings, but I guess the mini-boss works too. This mini-boss is cool. getting stuck on this level over and over again, I always wondered, like, man, what's the rest of the game like? I want to play it. So, uh, what I did was I ended up asking for the game for, like, I don't know, Christmas or something. Anyways, eventually I got a PS2 in this time period, and I got the Mega Collection, which included this game, and I was like, oh my god, I love it. And then I spent all my time playing Comic Zone, and I never actually touched Sonic 3. Um... Which I still have my old save. This is why I can never clear it, by the way. Because of that little set piece right there, the crushing wall. Still kind of gives me anxiety, should stay. Don't like it. My desire to, like, you know, get through to the end of this game and everything eventually just led to me buying a Genesis way off in the future. I mean, a good chunk of it was because I really loved the, uh, the Mega Collection. But that, like, really gave me my start in collecting, which is, you know, a hobby I still enjoy to this day. Even if I don't get to do it as often anymore, sadly. You know, add new games and such.
God, I wish I knew where the uh, special state tracks were in this game. I have legitimately no idea. Oh my god, that was almost terrible. Just watch as I uh, gracefully launch myself onto a pile of spikes and die. Oh, I should probably change it to the fact that I'm playing Sonic 3. Eh. Maybe there's one over here? Nope. Okay. If we're getting close to the end of the game and I'm starting to get worried, I will just pull out like a list. Because I know there's more than enough in Sonic and Knuckles. So if we if we don't have that many in Sonic and Knuckles, I'll just uh, look up a list. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, there's like, there's a space up there. Okay, yeah, found one. <laughs> Alright, we filled our quota for this level. Okay, I guess we'll start by... Okay, that was the correct choice. Awesome. These stages, like when they first started, they're like totally fine, completely just, you know, kind of easy. And then later, they are just the most anxiety inducing things. Once you start to like move. There we 
we go. Fixed it. Oh my god, we're already at four. Okay, now we can move on to the boss. Which should be right here. Which, you know, Nipples is gonna throw us to our doom. Bye, Nipples. Do you like how it's only, like, the third game, and hey, technically fourth, and we're already getting thrown into hell when it comes to just a ridiculous number of side characters? Ah, we lost our one-up. That's what I was hoping to grab. Eh, I'm gonna take the bubble. Now we can't drown, no matter what he does on this fight. Oh, it's this one! Okay. And, ah, okay, we lost the bubble. Whatever. So the way this fight works, quote unquote, is he drops these bombs, and they create torrents upward. Where am I? Oh, okay. That's where I was. Oh, okay. He creates these torrents that go upwards, and you can stand on them and stuff, and you can ride them upwards. Let's see if I can actually get a proper hit in. Instead of just relying on when he comes down, because hitting him, like, properly in this fight is so cool. There we go. The stage I could never beat as a child. Finished. In, like, ten minutes. special stage exit or entrance going down this hill. And back on the PS2, I kept hitting this glitch where going through it would send me, for whatever reason, it would send me to Hydro City Zone, like in a spot where I would get stuck and I just couldn't proceed anymore. I don't, I still don't know what that was about, honestly. Oh, so this thing lets you glide a little bit. It lets you fly upwards. Uh, your running speed. It, as it goes up, you go higher. And, you know, getting hit makes you lose it. But, eh, whatever. determine uh, whether or not you get into a special stage because rings determining it was a really weird choice. Like yeah, you have to be doing good when you hit the end of the level but sometimes that's just not what that determines. Oh yeah, uh, you can double jump with the lightning shield. It's really cool. Oh, big spikes. A cool enemy. But I don't think ever really comes back in any form. There's a lot that's exclusive to three. Oh, I don't want to have to play all the way back up to that. Is there a way through this? Like, now, no, there's just not. Got it. 
All right, leaving. Oh yeah, so this enemy will constantly fire projectiles at you until you break the thing on its head. And then breaking the thing on its head will typically like open a door or something. It's a cool enemy. I like it. Honestly, this stage's design is really cool. Because like the first stage is just a constant downward slope. I'll take that death. I don't want to have to. I don't want to rewind like all of them. And be lame. And hey, look! By taking that death, we found a completely new path. Ain't that neat? There is a lot to Sonic 3's level design. Like honestly. Oh come on. There's so many alternate alternate stage paths and like um like neat side areas and stuff. And of course all of it's supposed to be like if you're trying to 100 or, you know get to the true ending, you're going to be looking around a ton for uh, special stages and their entrances. Wow, I'm amazed that didn't just straight up kill me like it did last time. Okay. Tails, you are the real MVP. I... I lost a life to get one. Amazing. It's just like in real life. It's not a lightning shield unless we lose it after 12 seconds. Wow. You would think one of these spinny things would like lead somewhere. Like a special stage or you know, a different path or something, but so far they just haven't. I think I know what they want. So this thing has this property where if it touches the floor, it starts to just like move forward really fast. And I'm 90% certain that's what they want. Yep. I hate these enemies. I feel like every level in Sonic 3 has one just like it. Or, oh, it's spiky right now. Don't hit it. And honestly, they're more annoying than anything else. Right? 
Okay. I mean, I guess he didn't, but that's fine. I'll let it hit the floor. Oh! Hey! Can't lose this one in 12 seconds. I think we will probably cut it after this stage. Probably. So this one is a mountain climbing level as opposed to an ascending one. And it comes complete with these cool hooks that pull you up. we go then. Honest to God, I had nothing to do with that. We're gonna go up here. Maybe there's a special stage. Who knows? The bonus level. Ah, stop. Okay. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not accepting that. Jesus. Got it. Sounds like my childhood.
what did that open? Nothing? Oh, there we go. God, I wish I could find one of those special stage sentences. That was definitely a sentence that I just said. Anyways, I wish I could find an entrance to like a special stage or something. Because I'm a little anxious about hitting all of them. Even though I know there's like quite a few levels left in this game. Like, quite a few. Um, I don't know. I want to be able to show off the final level in all of its glory. Because it's the first cool final boss in the series. I feel like, ah, jumping out of that. Oh, we found one. Awesome. Lost their chance at a perfect in this one, but that's quite alright. You don't need perfects, although it's cool to try and like try for them sometimes. Maybe someday I'll find my way out of this hell. God, there's just like, it's just, it feels like a loop in this one. I don't know what's happening. Oh, wait. There it is. Ah. Uh, oh my god. Let's try that again. The timing is so hard to master. Uh, that is not the direction I pressed, but okay. There we go. Five? Yeah, five. Alright. X2. I'm so used to special stages like ending levels being like the end cap on the level. That's like one negative about doing it this way is that the stage feels like forced into the middle as opposed to naturally part of the center, or part of the end. But Sonic 2 had this issue as well, so whatever. Ah. 
Okay, thanks, Tails. I'm proud of him. He did something useful for once. Kidding, of course. He always does useful stuff. That's one. Oh my god, this level is so long. <laughs> we should be coming up on the end, hopefully. Right? Sonic? Oh hey, this is actually a really cool part of the level. Uh, the stage is descending? Oh. We die. Here, uh, maybe we can... How far back will it let us rewind? I didn't know how far back our last checkpoint was. Alright, fuck you too. Okay, now this boss is really cool. He's gonna destroy the ground. Being out of rings for any part of this boss is not going to be fun. Anyways, and then Tails picks us up. And we have a really cool sort of chase boss fight. So we are stopping right here at the carnival level. My favorite. Alright, so I will end it off for the night. Just go ahead and save a 20 slot.